So can I build a granny flat in my backyard? My name is Colin Frager from Council Approval Group. If you're asking yourself that question, congratulations, my friend. I wanna give you some answers today that will help you to decide whether or not you can get council approval for a granny flat in your backyard. Now, the answer is dependent on your local government area. It's dependent on which provisions we use. Some, some, sometimes there's some loopholes, um, some ways that we can expedite and quicken that process of getting approval. But if you're asking yourself that question, you're looking at your backyard, you're thinking, hey, there's a decent amount of land here. Maybe I could maybe I get it in my backyard or maybe I could get it in my basement or maybe I could get it, maybe I could convert my garage and get all the approvals in place properly. We would like to be able to answer that question for you. So in order to be able to answer that question, if you just kind of um, want some general information, uh, then I would recommend this magazine. It's really good reading, 40 pages on the council approval process. And in particular, we have a a, a page here or two, uh, which goes through the granny flat process in depth. So make sure you grab your copy. We can mail that out to you. This is based on our 50 plus consecutive years of experience. Uh, also, uh, I would like to offer to you an opportunity for us to have a discussion. If you were to claim your free consultation for the council approval group, what we will do is you'll book in a time to speak to one of our consultants. We'll give you a call at the appointed time and we'll go through in depth what you're trying to achieve and we'll paint a clear picture for you going forward and a recommended first step. So whether you can get council approval for a granny flat, whether you can achieve a granny flat in your backyard is a very exciting prospect. And my last tip would be make sure you get the right advice because you could be standing on the very edge of financial security, on the edge of extra rental income. What would that mean to you and your family if you're able to get an extra 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 000, 600 dollars per week how many thousands of dollars would that add to your lifestyle every single year imagine the financial security that you would have but don't rely on the advice of a draftsman don't rely on the advice of talking to council make sure you talk to a qualified town planner make sure you book in for a consultation with one of my one of my team and one of our team my name is colin frager from council approval group thank you for watching and i do wish you every success